Hey guys, how's it going? I, um, I was reading through this book, um, Crazy Love by Francis Chan. If you get the chance, it's a great read, phenomenal. He's just got a great, uh, Francis has a really good way of just like looking at things from a different angle. But I was just reading through his path, this, uh, some of his book, um, and he brought up a passage in uh, Luke 14, and it really made a connection for me that I thought was so powerful um, and really touched me today. Um, said this, when you give uh, luncheon or dinner, do not invite your friends, your brothers or relatives or your rich neighbors. If you do, they may invite you back and so you'll be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed. Although they cannot repay you, you'll be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. Luke 14. 12 through 14, I don't know what translation that's in. But as I go through, I was reminded of a passage in Matthew. And it's the parable of the, the banquet. The powerful thing here is how Jesus, in the parable of the banquet, talks about um, how the people who are invited to this banquet didn't come like the primary people who were invited didn't come and then the people they decided to just invite everybody and a lot of them came and Christ made a perfect example of what that looks like to sacrificially love truly love because he was the one who threw a banquet for us he made it possible so that we can have eternal life through him that even though we're not the Jews, we're not a part of the inheritance per se, that we can still have salvation in Christ. We can have him. And the thing that's, we're never gonna be able to repay God for the work and the good things that he's done for us and in our lives. And in the same way, he asks that we do the same. Anyone can love someone who loves them. That's easy. Anyone can pay somebody that they know they're going to be repaid. Even heathens do that. That's in Luke, in the Sermon on the Mount. That's on uh, in so many other places in path in Scripture. It's so easy to do that. But those who really love people who don't love them back and have no possibility of paying them back, that's true love. People who hate them. And that's powerful love. And it was reminding me, this, this last week was a little bit rough for me. Um, and just going through some difficulties and trying to be patient, trying to love. And let's be honest, middle schoolers are never going to be able to pay us back. High schoolers are never going to be able to pay us back. Really, for the things that we're doing for them. And it's a thank, thankless thing. But we're doing what God has asked us to do. We're sacrificially loving them. That's true love. And our reward's in heaven for that. And I'm so thankful that passage touched me today. Made me, made me think, made me realize this. We're doing this for Christ. To show Christ to them. It's not enough just to be friendly to sacrificially love and help those who are never going to be able to help us back. That's powerful.